people think I'm freaked out by doing a show like this? Not at all. I've done plenty of shows for the Klan. <laughs> no, I had a show for the Klan. It was accidental, because I started comedy in Texas. And I used to work with some comics that people would think, would say are probably Crimson Neck. Yeah. Good. I'm glad y'all got that. <laughs> now, I was on their website, and they had my name and not my picture. So when the Klan was looking, because my name is Daryl Wright and not Leroy Jackson. So you can understand how the Klan got confused. So they hired me. And since the check cleared, I did the show. So <laughs> I get to the place, because comics got to be places early. So I get there. And the guy that hired me was like, who the fuck are you? And I'm like, I'm the comic. And he's like, oh, shit. So he offered to pay me to leave. <laughs> but as any black person or Mexican person can tell you, I done spent my fucking gas money, so I'm doing this goddamn show. <laughs> I do the show, and they love me. I'm big in the clan, sweetheart, really. After the show, we all hung out. We had drinks. I learned nigga jokes I did not even know existed. <laughs> now, They gave me a Confederate flag T-shirt. It's all black, and it's got a Confederate flag shirt, I mean, a Confederate flag on, and they signed it. They all signed it, like, God bless you, you're a funny nigga, all that shit. And I wear it all the time, because I earned it. Fuck y'all. Now, moving. Y'all, moving forward. When I first moved to California, that's when I met John. And, uh, like, me and him went out to Venice Beach one day just to have lunch and talk and stuff. And I had my Confederate flag shirt on, and John is John. So needless to say, we got a lot of stares from people. <laughs> so finally, the only dude that had enough nuts to say something was this coffee shop ass nigga that skateboarded up to me. <laughs> oh, y'all know what a coffee shop nigga is, San Bernardino. One of those black guys with the dreadlocks, does poetry, named knowledge or wisdom or some bullshit like that. <laughs> he skateboarded up to me. Like, bruh, do you know what that shirt means? I'm like, yeah, it means they lost. <laughs> this, would be, this would be kinda awkward had this team won, wouldn't it? I'm like, this is America. I got the right to wear the symbol of a loser if I want to. <laughs> Bottom line is this, if you can wear a Raiders jersey, I can wear a Confederate flag, <laughs> fuck you. So, uh, so, now this is where it gets interesting. So since the black power shit didn't work on me, he turned to John. And what people don't know about John, he talking about yachts and shit like that. He wasn't always rich. John is an actor, which means he was broke. Like, he went to Juilliard with a bunch of black people. He had to live in bad neighborhoods in New York. So all of his white guilt is gone, because he didn't lived among black folks in the wild, like National Geographic. <laughs> so. So he turned to John, this is no joke. This is, <laughs> so he turned to John and he was like, hey, white boy, what do you think about this shirt? And John just said, look, man, I just bought this nigga on eBay. <laughs> and I will dress him any fucking way I feel like. <laughs> 